subscribe to tech me spot channel and press the bell icon and never miss another update hi guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to install ubuntu 19.04 desktop that is disco dingo in virtualbox 6.0 okay so guys first of all we need to download the iso file of this ubuntu 19.04 desktop okay so for that just open your web browser and go to google.com and just do a search for download ubuntu 19.04 okay and here we have the first link download ubuntu desktop from ubuntu.com click on this link to open it it's now opened and here we have the download ubuntu desktop okay so you need to scroll down and here we have the ubuntu 19.04 okay uh, the latest version of the ubuntu operating system for desktop pcs and laptops ubuntu 19.04 comes with nine months until january 2020 of security and maintenance updates okay and after that guys you need to click on this download button and you can see over here thank you for downloading ubuntu desktop your download should start automatically okay so you can see that uh, it's asking me to you know select the location where i want to download this iso file okay so just select your you know location so suppose if i want to download uh, it on my desktop i need to click on that and then click on the save button and you can see guys at the bottom left of my browser it's you know started you know downloading okay but i already downloaded this iso file so let me click on this cancel but you need to download that okay so if i go to my desktop you can see that i already downloaded this ubuntu 19.04 uh, desktop that is the scottingo okay so you can see you know this the iso file of this okay so uh, let's go to virtualbox and uh, install this okay so just open your virtualbox and then click on this new and here we have the create virtual machine so just give it a name i am giving uh, Ubuntu and uh, 19.04 okay you can give it any name and the type uh, is Linux okay and just select Ubuntu 64 bit and then click on this next and here we have the memory size so I'm giving a recommended uh, memory memory size is 1024 megabytes so I'm giving you know let's give 3072 you know MB uh, you can give it you know the memory size uh, at least 1024 megabytes okay and after that guys you need to click on this next button and here we have the hard disk create a virtual hard disk now okay uh, the recommended size of the hard disk is you know 10 gb okay so just click on this you know create button and just select this vdi virtual box disk image and then click on this next button just select this dynamically allocated okay and then click on this next button and here we have the file location and size let this be default okay and here we have the size we need to give so recommended is you know 10 gb but i am giving you know 80 gb okay you can give it the gb that you like at least uh, you know 10 gb is required so after that just click on this create button okay guys so the virtual machine is now created you can see that over here okay and let's do some settings so just select your ubuntu 19.04 virtual machine and then click on the settings and here we have the general okay so here we have the basic uh, you need to click on this advanced and here we have the shared clipboard click on this disabled and then click on this bi-directional here we have the drag and drop click on this disabled and then click on this bi-directional okay and after that click on this system okay guys so here we have the motherboard you can see the base memory that we given you can change it uh, from here if you like okay and here we have the processor so I'm giving you know two processor okay and uh, here we have the acceleration so let it be default okay and uh, here we have the display click on it okay it's fine to me and then click on this network uh, attached to NAT okay so it's fine after that click on this storage 
and here we have the empty click on this uh, under controller IDE okay and here we have the disk uh, this button click on this and here we have the choose virtual optical disk file click on this and guys uh, you need to browse to the folder where you have your Ubuntu 19.04 ISO file okay so I have it on my desktop so I need to click on that and here we have the folder let me open this and here we have the Ubuntu 19.04 desktop this ISO file okay so I need to click on it to select it and then click on this open button okay so it's now selected and after that click on this ok button okay guys so after that you need to click on this start button So here we have the window, it's a starting out, let me make it big, okay so here we have the install window, so just uh, you know select your language, I'm selecting you know English and here we have the install Ubuntu button, click on this after selecting the language okay and here we have the keyboard layout I am selecting English United States okay you can select the keyboard layout according to your requirements and and here we have the English United States I am selecting this okay and after that click on this continue and here we have the updates and other software uh, what apps would you like to install to start with okay so just like this normal installation it's already selected okay and here we have other options uh, download updates while installing Ubuntu so I recommend you guys uh, leave this checked okay and here we have the install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats so just you know click on this to select it and after that click on this continue button and here we have the installation type this computer currently has no detected operating system what would you like to do so just you know choose this option erase disk and install Ubuntu okay and then click on this install now button uh, write the changes to disks okay click on this continue button okay so where are you so just choose your location okay so I'm selecting my location and after that click on this continue button and here we have the who are you so just uh, give your name your computer's name pick a username and then password okay so I'm giving Ubuntu uh, your computer name I'm giving Ubuntu you can give you know the name that you like okay so I'm giving Ubuntu PC okay a username Ubuntu it's fine to me I choose a password just give it give you know the password uh, confirm your password okay and here we have two options like login automatically and require my password to login so I'm selecting this one okay require my password to login and after that guys you need to click on this continue button as you can see guys it's copying files so this will take time like 10 to 15 minutes so we need to wait okay guys so the installation has been done you can see installation complete installation is complete you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation so just click on this restart now this button and guys here you can see we have this message please remove the installation medium then press enter okay so just hit enter key on the keyboard and it's starting okay guys so we are now at the login screen okay so just click on this username and here we have the password click on this box and then enter your password and then click on this sign in button as you can see guys we are now logged in okay and here we have the Ubuntu 19.04 desktop 
this disco Django okay and here we have the online accounts you can connect your online accounts if you like okay but I'm clicking on this skip help improve Ubuntu okay so would you like to send this information so yes send the system info to canonical no don't send system info so if you don't like to send just click on this okay uh, but I'm clicking on this yes and system info to canonical okay and then click on this next button and here we have the PVC location services you can click on this to allow it and uh, after that click on this next button and here we have the you are ready to go okay you can use software to install apps like these okay uh, so just click on this done button and it's done okay guys but still you can see we have this you know Ubuntu 19.04 running in uh, low resolution okay so if I go to view click on this full screen mode and then click on this switch uh, you can see uh, we don't have you know this Ubuntu 19.04 in full uh, resolution okay so we still have you know the black spaces around this so how we can fix this so for that we need to install VirtualBox guest editions okay so just to go to the desktop right click on that and then click on this open in terminal okay guys so here we have the terminal opened so you need to update system repositories by using this command sudo apt update and then hit enter just provide your password hit enter okay it's now done and after that guys you need to uh, type this command sudo apt upgrade and hit enter on the keyboard uh, press y for yes and then hit enter on the keyboard it's upgrading the packages okay okay guys so it's now done okay so we need to run one more command I need to show you so let me go back okay so here we have this command okay that we need to run uh, to install VirtualBox guest editions uh, step one we have to install dependencies first by using this command below okay so this command in video description you can check it out okay so let's go to the terminal and type this command so let me open the terminal okay so uh, let me clear this first okay so we need to type this command sudo apt install build dash essential dkms build dash essential space dkms space linux dash headers dash dollar sign and in parenthesis you name space dash r okay so let's go to the terminal and type that dash dollar sign and in parenthesis you name space dash r okay and after that hit enter key on the keyboard just provide your password hit enter uh, just press y key on the keyboard and hit enter okay guys so it's now done and after that you need to click on this devices and then click on this insert guest editions cd image and you can close the terminal okay and here we have the uh, vbox guest editions click on this run button uh, just provide your administrative password click on this authenticate button as you can see it's installing additional modules you can see guys the screen adjusted automatically and here we have the press return to close this window so just hit enter key on the keyboard and it's now closed and if I go to view and then click on this full screen mode click on this switch button and you can see guys it's running in full resolution okay so it's now done and uh, let me show you one more thing okay 
so uh, let me open uh, the text editor okay and if I type something over here this is my file and if I copy this let me copy this and if I go to my you know host uh, this uh, Windows 10 operating system and if I open this file and if I go there and, and if I try to paste you can see it's not available okay and also if I copy some text from my host operating system that is Windows 10 okay to my guest operating system uh, that is uh, this uh, Ubuntu 19.04 uh, this desktop Disco Dingo okay so let me see if that's working or not you can see guys it's not working okay so how we can fix this issue so for that guys what you need to do uh, you need to install virtualbox guest dkms to enable shared clipboard and drag and drop features okay so for that guys uh, just open your you know ubuntu 19.04 go to the desktop right click on that and then click on this open in terminal okay and just type this command sudo apt install and we have to uh, type this virtualbox dash guest dash dkms so let me type that virtualbox dash guest dash dkms okay and after that hit enter key on the keyboard just provide your password hit enter you can see dkms install completed okay you can close the terminal okay and after that you need to restart your ubuntu 19.04 okay so first of all let me save this file click on the save button I'll give it the name file let me save it on the desktop and then click on the save button click on this close okay guys you can see the file is now saved okay and let me restart this ubuntu 19.04 for that you need to click on this top panel at the top right and here we have the power off button click on that and here we have the restart button click on this restart button and it's restarting just log into your ubuntu system so we are now logged in okay so let me open this file and let's copy this you know text uh, from this uh, guest operating system to my host okay so uh, this is my host operating system that is windows 10 and let's open one file and let's see if that feature is working or not you can see it's working fine okay so let's you know copy you know text from this you know uh, host operating system and let's go to the guest and let's open this file and let, let's see if this working or not and let me paste it over here and you can see guys the feature is now working fine okay and uh, let me close this okay so it's now done let's check out the drag and drop feature so let me minimize this first okay so uh, this is my you know host operating system that is windows 10 and this is the guest that is ubuntu 19.04 okay and we will uh, drag this you know text document from uh, this host operating system to, to this guest okay so let me open this files and let me you know drag this and drop over here okay and let's see if this working or not and you can see guys it's working fine okay uh, so uh, the drag and drop feature is also working so that's it guys in this way you can easily install ubuntu 19.04 desktop disco dingo in virtualbox 6.0 and also install virtualbox guest editions so that's it thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye